Sasya Mahabaho Tattva Michami Veditum Tyagasya Charushi Kesha Tattakeshi Nishudana Kamyanam Shri Bhagavan Uvaja Amyanam karmanam nyasam Sanyasam kavayo vidu Sarva karma palat yagam Brahus yagam vichakshana So here is the last chapter, 18th chapter, as Bhagavan Shankara says nice, nicely, that Asminadhyaya Sarva Upasamrutya. Everything is concluded in this chapter because by the time 17 chapters are over, you have nothing more new to learn, new to see. Already everything you have heard. Because the Upanishads and the Bhagavad Gita, which started, with a very human situation where Pandavas or Junas are fighting, they have come to an inevitable position in life where they cannot avoid the war. That is because the Kauravas are refusing to give the legitimate share to the Pandavas. This is very much a human situation between brother and brother, husband and wife, friends and friends, countries and countries. This type of situation always comes up in life. How do you solve this problem? Understand? This is such a very universal human situation. The legitimate share of the brother is denied and they don't know what to do. See the paradox. If you fight for it, people say you are aggressive. If you don't fight for it, you are losing out. What shall you do? That is the so-called average good man's conflict in life. Suppose somebody offends you, humiliates you, and right? talks some, some nonsense thing against you. If you protest, you are being angry, you are being intolerant. Okay. If you don't do it, you are out. It is like in religious pillars you can see conversion. If you are resisting conversion, you are not allowing him the freedom of his religion. But if you don't do it, the other person will roll, roll over you. Anywhere, your property, somebody is occupying. If you say, don't do it, oh, why are you protesting? Why are you fighting? What? So what shall he do? This is where it should be very clearly understood because when Arjuna, the Pandavas have reached a point where their legitimate share is denied. And in order to solve the problem, as we saw, four ways you can solve it. Shama, Dana, Veda, Danda. Shama become very friendship. We are brothers, why fight? Solve the problem. See how beautifully human situation can be resolved. Shama. Let's be friends, even brother, brother, husband, wife, children, friends, you know, anywhere, any country, country. Let's be friends. Why are necessarily getting into problems? Solve the problem. Sama. Cannot dana, sama, dana. Then, okay, give up something. It's all right. 500 you could not give. Give 300, 200 you for it. Little bit give up. 
ओके दैट आल्सो दे डी देन वेदा सब दिस टू पाथ्स डू नॉट वर्क वेदा ए म्यूचुअल फ्रेंड यू एम्प्लॉय हु कैन टेल बोथ दी पीपल डोंट नॉट टू फाइट रिजॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम इफ समाधान वेदा ऑल द थ्री आर ओवर ना नेचुरली ओनली वन थिंग लेफ्ट आउट इज दंड पनिशमेंट सो at any time you cannot say pandavas are fighters agresi nor can you say arjuna is uh, krishna is war mangarar many people will say krishna is belligerent belligerent mean one who encourages fighting he doesn't encourage fighting it is only solving the problem after the three re recourses are exhausted he has gone to the last recourse that is danda so when this when arjuna now comes for the battlefield and sees everybody standing and then suddenly he says i don't want to fight why because he doesn't see the enemies he sees the brothers teachers uncles so you cannot you cannot fight with the brothers sisters uncles and uh, father in law no one you have to see enemy he doesn't see that so naturally he says i cannot fight the battle then bhagavan says hey arjuna you cannot have to do that why there is a conflict between arjuna the man and arjuna the prince as a prince he has a legitimate right to fight the battle he has a duty not the right a duty to fight the battle as a person he can go away but as a prince he cannot do that so that is a ordinary person if he goes away it means nothing to nobody but if the leader runs away the whole country is affected so arjuna happens to the leader of the time he happens to the prince if he runs away is like handing over the lot of people millions of people in the hands of the rowdy unjustified unjust element therefore it is arjuna's responsibility duty as a prince to fight the battle but the prince in arjuna is overwhelmed by the person in arjuna now has a, he wants to be a disciple he wants to be the son of the father brother of the brothers but he doesn't want to be the king he doesn't want to be the prince so this is where exactly known as the moha delusion the people are incapacitated it is like uh, sometimes if you, that is why when your own child is on the operation theater the surgeons don't do it other people should do it why because he shall be later on repenting that i killed my son many patients are dying it doesn't matter but now his son will die so if you are a judge you shall be taken away from the case if your relative is there so if your personal interest is there you are not supposed to be taken care even it can happen in nowadays you see that in religious establishments also if the person is there the religious establishment the sadhu or whatever the administration the religious establishments are meant for whom everybody but some people make it as a family trust my brother my son my husband my wife my friend my sister's brother son husband brother so you know some nonsense and you are getting suppose you are somebody giving you a, a little money it is not giving for you or your brother or your sister or your mother or your father but what do you do you get the money but you stay oh, what shall i take you know other day one person i sent to london when a uh, long back one swami he was dying to go there and he goes there cheats everybody and brings gold for his house people are so fed up <coughs> instead of collecting the money for the people for everybody he goes there picks up a new language you know gujarati language and all that stuff and you know starts cheating everybody because he wants to build a house it is village and it has become a personal job just like that many people do it it can be when you some money is given to you to spend for the uh, good of the society or for the other people you first do it for your sake or for other sake dangerous so the person comes and interferes with the position sometimes position comes interferes with the person so much you are lost in the position you are so much lost as an executive the husband in which forgotten the wife in which forgotten neglected so you come home husband has gone somewhere wife has gone somewhere finished so it has to be balanced understand so here the case is arjuna the prince is overtaken by the arjuna the person so naturally therefore he must know about himself so he is a fake person yesterday we saw that no 
No, he is not a genuine one fighter now. He is a fake fighter. Because this person is overtaken by the, the, I mean the fighter, the prince, the political the leader is overtaken by the father, mother, the human role. So he has to know about himself. And to know about himself, Atma Vidya is involved. Atma Vidya is involved. So when Bhagavan says, so it starts with that much only. Then Arjuna himself says, Bhagavan lashes out it, trying to solve his problem. Then Arjuna himself says, it's not only this, okay, I'll fight the battle. All right, this is not the last battle of my life. So many battles have won. After every battle, a new battle front has opened up. So what is the big deal opening this new battle? We leave the last one. Yes, Sriyasyat Nishchitam Rohitanme Shishyasteham Sadimam Tvam Prapannam. He surrenders himself as a disciple to the teacher. Shishyasteya Ahamte Shishya. I am your disciple. No more a friend. Sadima, teach me. Prapannam, I surrender unto you. Why? Yes, Sriyasyat Nishchitam Rohitanme. What is the Sriyas? The absolute good. Tell me that. Then, Bhagavan, what can he say? Can he say victory? Can he say kingdom? Can he say anything else? Renunciation? No. Atma Vidya, self-knowledge. So he teaches him from the first chapter onwards, and the second chapter onwards, he started with Tvampada. Hey Arjuna, know about yourself. Veda, Avinashinam, Nityam, Ayinam, Ajamabhyam. Veda, Avinashinam, Nityam, Veda. You, you know that which is Nityam, eternal, Avinashi, indestructible, pure self that you are. To whom he kills or how does he get killed? It's a role to be played in life. Having seen it, when Arjuna sees this, he finds it very, he understands very clearly. But he says, if it is so easy, why is it that I cannot understand it? He says, because your mentally, your mind is not ready for it. Therefore, Esate, Vihinta, Sankhe, Karma Yogi to Imam Shruna, Buddhi Yogi to Imam Shruna. So Sankhya, he had revealed the knowledge who you are, now you prepare your mind. When you prepare the mind, karma yoga started. And then one who knows the thing becomes a sthita pragya. So second chapter itself gives the in not self the entire thing that is yet to come. Eighteen chapter now completes up everything and tells you all that is already gone. Such a beautiful arrangement. Huh? Second chapter gives you everything. The jnana, the karma yoga, as well as the fulfillment of jnana, sthita pragya. Then third, fourth, fifth, it all went with the karma yoga and the thing. The lastly, sixth chapter deals with the meditation because Tvampada, who are you? That celebrated Mahavakya, Tat Tvamasi. Tvampada, who you are, is revealed in the first five chapters. Sixth chapter is meditation to abide in yourself. Then the seventh to eleventh, the chapter is dealt with Tatpada, Ishwara, as to who God is. And the twelfth chapter is fulfillment, is devotion. That also is like meditation. Then the thirteenth to seventeenth, it goes on with the asipa, the identity between Jiva and Ishwara, where the Kshetra, 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 Gyan Yoga is started. And here, Arjuna, there is no difference or dichotomy, division between macro and micro, totality and individuality, serve Ishwara and Jiva. Ishwar alone is existing. Everything is an inseparable part of it. Having thus told it, now 18 chapter is now brings in to conclude the whole thing. Why is it so? Please understand. At the end of the day, when the classes are over, notebooks are over, note writing is over, ashram life is over, guru Vasa is over, the most important thing is living the knowledge. L-I-V-I-N-G, not L-I-V-I-N-G, not giving up the knowledge, but living the knowledge. Why? Very nicely say, Yastu Kriyavan Sapandita. Who is a Pandita? Yastu Kriyavan. One who uses this knowledge in daily life, he is Pandita, Brahma Vidya Asyasthi. Yastu Kriyavan. At the end of the day, you must, your action becomes more important. At the end of your college career, what do they ask you? What are you doing these days? If you are a lawyer, you pass law, how is your practice? If you are a medical doctor, what is your, how is your practice? If you are a chartered accountant, how is your practice? Musician, singer, dancer, how is your practice? You studied, how are you using that knowledge? Same thing also in Atma Vidya. 
when college over, school over, guru kula is over, teaching is over, ashram life is over, note writing is over. How are you living this knowledge? That is why Arjuna asked, what is this sannyas? What is this tyag? Because this is now comes to living part of the wisdom. Enough is spoken. And as you listen, sravana, manana, listen to it, think over it, then niti dhyasana, see the truth of it. That is why, remember the classes we saw, three types of tapas, mana tapas, vaka tapas, sarira tapas. So beautiful. Where you see yourself, who you are at the level of the mind, then your every speech, your every action is measured, deliberate, beautiful. What is the test of it? You are not a problem to yourself. You are not a problem to anybody. Write it down in your notebook and in your classroom, in your room everywhere. I am not a problem to myself, nor I am a problem to somebody. If somebody considers me a problem, that's not my problem. Are you getting that point? If somebody considers me a problem, that's not my problem. But I cannot go the top speed of the car and push it into the crowd and say, crowd thinks that my driving is a problem. That's not my problem. You are poet. You can smoke and whoo and you know, make everybody stink and you say, that's their problem. I have a freedom to smoke. Huh? I can be angry, jealous, whatever I like. Why I am Brahman? Oh boy, you are pervert, rakshas. Think of it. You cannot do something which will disturb people and then you say, I am free to do it. It's like mafia demanding that I can do whatever I like. A criminal demanding his right to do whatever he likes. No. You are not a problem to yourself. And you're not a problem to somebody. How do I know it's not a problem to myself? But Swamiji is smoking, it's not a problem to myself. It kills you. It kills others also. Why are you dying? Don't say that. Any obsession is a problem for you. Any obsession, whether it's a food obsession, sex obsession, sound obsession, touch obsession, taste obsession, anything, please appreciate. Any obsession shall be a problem. Even the obsession to holiness, obsession to importance, obsession to address, how I dress myself, how I appear myself, it's all great, it's a huge problem. You have to be, for my sake, nobody should suffer. So I am not a problem for anybody, nor I am a problem to myself. Why? I am genuine. I hope you write those notes, huh? take your time, you can... No hurry, tomorrow day after there will be no class, you have two days, write, 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 when I come back you give me the note. Okay? So think of it. So here is something, action. Because after the teaching is over, and the classes and everything comes to an end, now what is remains is, that knowledge that you have picked up, sravana, manana, didiyasana, by listening, thinking, and being with yourself, now that knowledge must come to manifestation. Suppose you came from the college, came from the school, come from the own house, <coughs> giving up a job, then the course is over, you are back to again square one. What was the need for? <coughs> are you getting that? What was the need for getting into go going through these things? It was wasting of time. Please. So, our Arjuna asked, O Lord, Sanyasa Mahavao, what is the truth of the sannyasa and tyaga? What is the sannyasa? Meaning, what is the sannyasa? It's only related to a lifestyle as well as the karma, action. So Bhagavan now explains. Because already he has, O uh, oh Lord, um, um, uh, karmanam nyasa, then punar yogam cha sansasi. You are praising the sankhya, punar yoga, again you are saying the karma yoga, which one is better? Action is better, knowledge is better. Very clearly Bhagavan proved it. Knowledge is the source. Sanyas is the attitude with which you live your life. 
नॉलेज इज द सोर्स फर्स्ट यू नो अबाउट योर सेल्फ बिकॉज यू कैन नॉट हैव ए रिनाउंसिएशन द सेंस ऑफ रिनाउंसिंग द रिजल्ट ऑफ एक्शन नॉट पॉसिबल ऑनलेस यू आर हैप्पी विथ योर सेल्फ द होल वर्ल्ड प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड द होल वर्ल्ड इज जस्ट बिकॉज पीपल आर लुकिंग फॉर हैप्पीनेस दैट इज वाई देर इज प्रॉब्लम इन लाइफ जस्ट थिंक ऑफ इट जस्ट सी सिंपल सिचुएशन If you are happy, you will not create problem. If you are looking for happiness, you like it or not, you will be create problem. Suppose you are going to the kitchen. Just think, you are going to the kitchen. Why? To eat, not to be happy by eating. Think. Why are you going to kitchen? To eat. Why are you going to eating? Sustain. Okay. Now, you go there. But suppose you saw there are two mangoes are left out. There are two mangoes there. Then you are happy to eat the mango. Understand? By eating the mango, you are happy. So you are not looking for happiness in the mango. Now, as you are looking at it, somebody takes it and goes away. What happens to you? Huh? Then you go and ask, why he took away the mango? Where from the mango had come? Now, Swami just said, for only for him or for everybody. Why? Your happiness is in the mango. Just think. Anywhere, you are going to market. Suppose there is one you like a particular uh, object or a cloth or a toy or a something. Only one thing is there. By the time you go, somebody takes it and goes away. What happens? Angry. From a distance, you look. There is a car parking in Western countries. It will be. From a distance, you there is a car park. So you are going towards it. Suddenly, one fellow backs up and stays there. What happens? Uh. Just no. Are you getting that point? No. Please understand. The moment you are a person who is seeking happiness, you shall create problem for yourself as well as for everybody. Around the world, how does people work? How do people work? Seeking happiness. What I want to get, he got it. What I want to do, he did it. Everybody is looking. So you are not starting with being happy. You are starting with looking for happiness. Are you getting that point? So when you are, you want to start with being happy. You are genuine. When you are starting with looking for happiness, you are a fake. So the whole world will fight, fight, fight. You cannot escape struggle in your life. Just like you know, just like dropping habits. Just think of it, habits again. Same thing. What is habit? You are seeking for happiness in an object. You are seeking for happiness in a sweet. You are seeking for happiness in a dog or a you know, a bhajan or kirtan or something. You are seeking for happiness in a position. You are seeking for happiness in a smoking, drinking or anything. So when you are seeking for happiness, you shall feel denied when it is not given to you. So, whoever denies you, you are number one enemy. Why is it so? Because you are creating your own tension inside it. Without that something, I cannot live. Either every day, somber idli, somber idli, somber idli. You are already angry. The people are starving and dying. You don't worry. Every day, somber idli. You are getting angry. Why? Every day, somber idli. Oh, I see. Just think, think for yourself. Are you working that principle? Because why in your life you become so miserable? Because you are looking for happiness. Why relationship fails? If you are looking for happiness, when you are looking for listen carefully, when you are looking for happiness, the other person becomes your slave, bondage. I am looking. See, I am looking for happiness. Now I find happiness in you. But suppose you are a person who is happy with yourself. Think, you are a person who is happy with yourself. But I am a person. I am looking for happiness in you. You know what will happen? When you are finding, when you are looking for happiness in me, look. If suppose I am looking for happiness in you, I will not leave you. You feel suffocated. Why this fellow is holding on to me? Are you getting that point? Why do we, relationship break down? I am happy with myself. You also be happy with yourself. You can meet excellent. Cannot meet excellent.
is look for it, understand, understand, understand. So that is where, what happens? Understand. If you are happy with yourself, you don't give up karma, but you happily, no more dependent upon the result of action for your happiness. That is a sannyasa is not karma tyaga. Sannyasa is karma phala tyaga. Are you getting that point? Karma tyaga is not sannyasa. So because people think sannyasa means I must give up the action, now again and again he says, what type of action you give up? So, and he says, oh Lord, I want to understand what is sannyasa and what is tyaga. Bhagavan says, Arjuna, kamyanam karunanasa sannyasam kavayo vidu. So see what is sannyasa. Sannyasa is not putting on an ochre cloth, yellow cloth, no cloth, chanting, singing, running, being vegetarian, avoiding garlic, or dancing in the name of the God, or burying yourself underground, putting yourself in a cave, putting on different types of dresses, long beard, or small beard, or completely shaven head, these are all nonsense. Those are all appearances, linga. They are all appearances. What is sannyas? Karmanam, kamyanam, karmanam nasa. Understand? Very clearly says, kamya karma nyasa. Karmanam nyasa? No. Not giving up the action. But giving up those action which are kamya karma. Kamya karma means by doing which I shall be happy. Ask yourself, why do you do anything in life? If you are doing it for action, for action's sake, you can stop it whenever you want it. If it is action for pleasure's sake, you cannot drop it. Think carefully. Suppose I ask you, please see, suppose I ask you, please write note. Please write note. Just think. I said, just take a simple example. I ask you, please write note. Then you find it, say, let's say difficult. Just an example. So you find it difficult. Oh, yeah. But you do it. Why? Swamiji asked, it's my duty to write. So, it's an iskama karma. I don't get anything out of it. But suppose you get pain out of it, listen carefully. You do it because do it, easy. If you do it and therefore you get pain out of it, it's not an iskama karma. Getting a pleasure is as much a bondage as when getting a pain also. It's so subtle, so subtle. Suppose I tell you, don't write notes. You are do doing it for few, one or two notes you wrote, then I say, don't write notes. How do you feel? Samiji knows. He really understands our problems. He really understands. Right? Very happy. Why are you happy? Because it was giving you discomfort. Because you want to be lazy, it is making you active. Okay. Now, your habit makes you very active. Even night, 10 o'clock, you don't mind going to the shopping center. Think. Even in midday also, you don't mind uh, trekking... Five kilometers, seven kilometers for something or to meet somebody. You don't mind. And suppose somebody prevents you from doing it. What happens? You are angry. Come here, karma. Anything, listen, if you are, if you say come here, karma means, that is where, come here, karma means, desiring a result. Like, he has written commentaries, Aswamedha Adina. Today, who does Aswamedha? Here, today, Kamya Karma means, you are going for a laddu, going for a chocolate, going for a trip, looking for a girl, looking for a boy, or uh, eating for something, dress, particular dress, particular job, particular sense of respect, disrespect. This is the Kamya Karma today. Today, you are not doing Putra Kamya, Shti, Yajya, Aswamedha, Soma, Yaga. Who is doing? Anybody? Did you, anybody do it here? Nobody will understand what it is. Ashwamedha. What are the horses to be sacrificed? There are no horses. Extincts. You know? <laughs> Just think of it. 
सो काम्यकर्म काम्यकर्म न्यास सो आस्क योर सर द क्वेश्चन व्हेन यू आर डूइंग द एक्शन इज इट फॉर इट ओन सेक और फॉर द हैप्पीनेस सेक ड्यूरिंग द क्लास ओनली डोंट थिंक मिस हम इज टॉकिंग यस 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 नो दिस इज टीचिंग हियर इट मेक्स यू टू सी यस द मोमेंट टू स्टेप आउट यू थिंक am i doing something i'm supposed to write a note i'm sleeping i'm avoiding i'm not supposed to eat or do something i'm doing it why kamya karma and if it is kamya karma you cannot escape the conflict you cannot so in other words if you have a conflict your action is not for its own sake If there is a conflict, a pain, your action is not for action's sake. If it is action for action's sake, you are asked to do it, excellent. You are asked not to do it, fantastic. Are you getting that point? Can you do this gardening? Enjoy doing. I think you need not do it. Somebody else will do it. Wonderful. Can you look after the kitchen? Oh yes. I don't think you should do it. Somebody else do it. Okay. Why? Because just think of it. Is what happens is don't say I'm like a football kicked here, kicked there. No, no, no. When you are working in a group, you are such a wonderful person. Understand? Who shall be a wonderful leader or wonderful worker? The person who is ready for any position, any time. Wanted, I'm there. Not wanted, I'm in the background. But suppose being wanted is means importance. Not wanted means unimportant. You are a waste. because you love complexes full of complexes you cannot escape let's think of it that is how people hold on to power i want to be the president of the organization minister of these things secretary of this group you know why people hold on to that because being there the fellow has some sense of importance if that is gone he will be forgotten he forgets that if he is with himself even if chances are positions are taken away so what i am happy with myself or i can do by myself something i'll do it no problem so please underline that word kamyana sanyasa means kamyanam karmanam nyasa not karma nyasa okay not karma sanyas that is why when i went to one country and one fellow was putting on this akra cloth then I said he is Maharaj. I said Ario Nam Narayana. You know, because I was trying to be a little more traditional, even though I am not so very uh, particular on this stuff. But because he is a foreign, you know, person has come from another country, has taken sannyas in India, gone, so I did it. Uh, so he also whatever. Then after one hour, I see he is putting onto a jean and a dress, and he is going for driving a car. Where are you going? With a swimming trunk to Hardi Kitch. What is that? To beach, swimming. So how come you drop this clock? No, no. Our Swami has given us karma sannyas. Karma sannyas. We are all karma sannyas. I say, what is this? Karma sannyas means what? No, you only when you are doing the puja, you put on that cloth, or you know chanting satsang, you put on that. Rest of the time, you can hang around with any cloth. How beautiful! Have the cake and eat it too. Just think of it. Karma sannyas means kamya karma sannyas. Okay, why am I emphasizing? Please look at it. Even to put on a dress, when you are putting it on, oh, will it make me happy, or is just a dress? I'm going to sleep, escaping from something to sleep, or sleeping because sleep is needed. I'm speaking something. is it i'm compulsive to speak or i'm speaking because i can speak helping somebody is it because i'm recog expecting recognition from somebody or i'm helping because i can help every action every moment of your life you must be beautiful then only sanyas or else stupid <laughs> fancy dress 
but it means nothing. You can speak any nonsense, but it has no relevance at all. And also, okay, why is the difference between sannyas and tyaga? Because a person can be karma sannyas. Kamya karma is not there. He doesn't do any kamya karma. He does it for his own sake. He eats food because food is that food is to be eaten. Dresses because that is to be done. Helps because that is to be done. Sannyas. But that does not necessarily mean a renunciation. Do you know why? Suppose the fellow has a very subtle expectation that I am now uh, eating for my own sake, helping for helping sake, but nobody recognizes this. Ah. I do this, but nobody recognizes this. Trouble. <laughs> Are you getting that? Because if you say karma, see, you can expect also recognition, doesn't matter. If it comes beautiful, doesn't come also should be beautiful. I do my part. Okay, it will be nice if some people appreciate. They don't. How does it matter? It's like you teach. You think appreciation. What is appreciation? Even if it is stupid, people should say it is wonderful. Why? I have one hour, I have struggled. Hey, you can struggle one year. Who cares? Is it worth? Just because you come and talk for one hour, I shall say it is wonderful. But did you talk sense? You came and helped me. But during your helping me, you have created so much many problems for me that I can't say you are wonderful. Are you getting that? Suppose I call you, say, please, uh, uh, can you look after this garden? So what do you do? You are like Tirupati uh, Barber. You know what is Tirupati Barber? Yes. Tirupati Barber, when the day begins, the big line, big line of people for coming and shaving the hair. So what he does, suppose there are 50 people standing, he goes and puts the knife on everybody. Tuck, tuck, little, 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 just cut off little hair like this. Little, little hair. So that you can't go to somebody else. <laughs> So the other man also does the same thing, so he will not say, since I have not done it, you know, whoever has touched you first, he will do it, go. So I put you, please look after this garden. And what do you do? Little bit here, <sighs> sleep for three hours. Two, three days, there is nothing done. Then after 10, 15 days, maybe rain by itself it came. Something summer happened. Or something after five, 10 days, then I am getting fed up. Then, then what do you say? Ten, and then everybody says, let's say, forgotten. Then suppose somebody says, I don't think you should do that. Twenty days I worked. Did what? Did what? Twenty days you did. Did what? I have been working for years. Huh? Did, doing what? Just think, think for yourself. And the person then wants a recognition. What? And you, what you did creates more problem because you removed all the things that are not to be removed. You killed plants which are not supposed to be killed. Then you say, I did. Did what? I'll just give you an example. It's like gardening. It can be an office, it can be school, it can be job, it can be uh, looking after a book, looking after your kitchen, looking after your own self. Think of it, please. So very important. Because karma phala, karma, kamya karma tyaga you can do. That karma phala tyaga is very subtle. Because unconsciously it can sit down in your head. I did so much, but nobody recognized it. What did you do? Make a list of it. Nobody looks at it. Are you getting that, please? So both should be there. Kamya, karma, tyaga. Kamya nam, karma nam nasa. So when you say kamya karma, it means don't speak the language of uh, ritual. With kamya karma means suppose you read a traditional commentary, asomeda, patra kamesti, swarga kama, you know. No, 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 no. Today nobody is doing that. That also. Anything you do, are you going to get happiness out of it? Your happiness depends upon that. No. My sustenance depends upon it? Yes. My happiness depends upon it? No. 
Why do I do the cultivation? I will sustain myself. Why do you want three pairs of clothes? Easy to maintain. Why do you want to go on a motorbike? Why it is really difficult to walk all the distance? But not because if I go in a motorbike, people, I, if I walk, people will think I am an ordinary person. If I go on a bike, everybody thinks I am a very rich person. Oh, I see. Silly ideas with which people go. Understand? Please understand. That simplicity comes in your life. And also, karma phala tiyag. Okay? And when the tiyag will happen, the renunciation of the result of action, when I'm happy with myself, any result is fine. I work for a result, nothing wrong. But any result comes also, is fine. I did my best, and this is what comes. I did my best, I was recognized, not recognized. It doesn't matter. Okay, having told it, now further move on into it. Okay. What is that Kama Karma Na Tiyaga? Tiyajyam Doshavadityeke Karma Prahur Manishina Yajna Dana Tapa Karma Natyajyam Iti Chapare Nishayam Shrunume Tatra Tyage Varata Sattama Tyago Hi Purusha Vyagra Trividha Samprakirti Taha Tyajyam Doshavadityeke Karma Prahur Manishina Yajna Dana Tapa Karma Natya Jamiti Chapare Nishayam Shrunume Tatra Tyage Varata Sattama Tyago Hi Purusha Vyagra Trividha Samprakirti Taha Right. Some people say, what is that karma tiyaga we should do? Tyajyam dosa viditi eke karma prahu manujat. You know, dosa vid karma tiyajya. Iti manishinaha prahu. Some great people say, some people, wise people say, dosa vid karma tiyajyam. Certain wrong which is dosha, like ragadi, tyajyam, ragadi, ragadvesha, bandhahetu, tyajyam. Listen carefully. This is a very, very simple thing. Like people tell you, hey, don't drink, don't smoke, don't get angry, angry actions, jealous actions must be given up. Between the angry, between the actions backed by anger, jealousy, and the between and the actions backed by compassion, love, affection, definitely the action backed by compassion is better than the action done by the anger. No doubt about it. But as much the action propelled by anger can affect you, even the action done by love and affection also can destroy you. Because when you do the action with anger, the other person will run away from you. When you do it with love and affection, the other person will hold on to you. Which one is better? One deserts you, one suffocates you. You take angrily, the fellow runs. So you are alone. You talk with love and affection, everybody holds on to you. Now they are dependent on you. So which one is better? As even to remove people away from you is useless, as even that much is, make the people dependent on you. Understand? 
Okay, why do they say you should not drink, you should not smoke and all these things? Because if you do that, listen, if you do, say don't smoke, don't eat, don't do this, why? Because if you do that, you become an addict, you become dependent on those things. Okay, if you do good things, people become dependent on you. What do you do? <laughs> See the, are you understanding the point, how subtle it is? Living your life, it is like really walking on the razor's edge. You do it is a problem, you don't do also it is a problem. So what should we give up? That is why action is not to be given up. Kamana, the desire is to be given up. The desire behind that action which vitiates the action. That is why even yajna dana tapa karma natyajyam. They say you should not give up ritual, yajna, dana, charity, tapas, all these things should not give up. But if you do even those karmas with expecting the result, they can create as much problem as even any other action. Are you getting that point please? Because you are charitable. Let's say you have got a charitable disposition. You are giving it to everybody. But your attitude is not that of karma phalatyaga but because looking for recognition. If I give that, tomorrow he'll tell good words about me to everybody. If I give him, now the fellow will be grateful to me and he'll do whatever I want you to do. All right, you do that expectation and do it. Tomorrow the fellow doesn't do it. Why? The person who is asking you is different. Who? One who is in a need of things is asking you. And who has to express gratitude? Whose needs are fulfilled. When his needs are fulfilled, he changes. <laughs> he doesn't care. Then what shall he say? Because I had the capacity, therefore I was asked to do, not that, uh, why they didn't ask, gave it to somebody. Because I had the capacity. <laughs> the whole table changes. Gratitude just disappears from life. So watch out. Tyajyam, some people say, what is karma? That dosavad karma tyajyam. Why dosavad karma? Because certain actions, if you do it, forget this attitude behind it. If you just do it, suppose you practice smiling and you practice being frowning on everybody. What will happen? Frowning will keep everybody off. Smiling attracts people. Eating simple food as much needed makes you healthy. Eating wrong food more than you need fatten you and destroys you. So this is simple things. Nothing to do with the attitude now. It's like poison kills. Don't say overeating makes good food also poison. I 100% agree that, but don't start with that complication now. Start with simple thing. A poison kills straight away. You take one sip, it kills you. But water will sustain you. Or a fruit juice will sustain you. That was juice is better than that. Yes. Then comes the complication. If you with the right dosage you take a poison, it can help curing the disease. If you overeat or over drink, it can be a poison. Even though it is good, it will be a poison. Then comes the attitude. So, you can start straight up with that. That is why children, giving them good conditioning. Amanitto, madambitto, ahinsa, kshanti, arjavam, be nice, be kind, be honest, be truthful, don't hurt people, all these things have to be given. Later on he shall understand, speaking that, telling a lie is a problem, but speaking the truth also is a headache sometimes. Being a failure, of course no good, but being a success also creates problem. Being poor is definitely a problem, but being rich also doesn't solve the problem. Creates more problem. Ah, then you are thinking. But at the beginning, you put great, certain becoming values. Okay? Now, and then yajna dana tapa karma. Now, so, good actions should not be given up. But later on when you grow up, you know, it's not the action that is good or bad, it is your attitude which makes it good or bad. So are you with that right attitude of life? 
So when you do that, what is the right attitude? Tyaga. Karma phala. Tyaga. And what is the right attitude? Not karma. But karma by itself is not good or bad. Kamya karma makes it bad. So I look at myself whether my, my actions are pushed by dreams and desires. Whether my uh, doing certain good action is mixed up with expecting a definite result. If it is, you shall have complications or you are getting into complications because you have these things. Okay, very clear, you see that. Now, having told this, now Bhagavan says, Bharata Sattama, hey Arjuna, the great Bharata Vansa, you know, you are the great one in Bharata Vansa, Nishayam Sunume Tatra Tyaga. What is the Tyaga? What is the renunciation? Tyagohi Purusho Bhagra Trivida Pratikitya. Tyaga, this renunciation, is three types we are talking about. What are the three? Read it. In, in now onwards, it will be just passing, okay? Three types, three types, three types, three, three verses, we can finish up. In five days, class is over. Then you can go and play whatever you want. Football, climb the mountain, do whatever. Okay? <laughs> Read. Yajna dhana tapa karma Natyajyam karya mayavatat Yajna dhanam tapas chayva Abhanani manishinam Yetan yapitu karmani Sangam tyaktva palani che Kartabhyani ti me partha Nishitam matam uttamam Yajna dana tapa karma Natyajyam karya me vatate Yajna dana tapa shaiva Pavanani manishinam Yetanyapitu karmani Sangam tyaktva phalani che Kartabhyani ti me partha Nishitam matam uttamam Now she is. So, Dvashabad karma tyajyam, that which is to begin with, eh? which there are certain actions which are becoming actions, unbecoming actions, okay? But then, watch out because, as I told you, action by itself is neither good or bad, depends on how you do it. Now he says, Yajna dana tapa karmana tyajyam karyam evatatu. You must always do three karmas. Listen carefully. This is fantastic. Three karmas you should never give up. What is that? Yajna dana tapas. Yajna is ritualistic sacrifices, what they call. Later on, we take it literally, then meaning I'll give. Dana is charity. Tapas is, you saw that, insight, discipline. Mana tapas, vak tapas, sarira tapas. Okay. Now, watch out. When you say, don't give up yajna, that does not mean, do not give up your ritualistic practices. When you say, don't give up dana, it does not mean stop, don't stop giving charity to everybody. When he says don't stay tapas, that does not mean that always be like, uh, you know, good actions in orally, in your speech is good, mind also conscious thought, conscious thought, conscious action, conscious speech. No, what it means is, so other actions can be given up. So yajna dana tapas it should not be given up, right? So, study, give up. Working on your body, give up. Eating healthy food habit, give up. Because those are all. Because this yajnana tapa karma is religious karma. Holy. What is unholy action? Dressing, bathing, working, 
That is where you see how people become lazy bones. Why? Holy man, you see. Yajnananda Bhagarma must have to be done. But you know, gardening is not Yajnana Tapas. Walking is not Yajnana Tapas. Writing note is not Yajnana Tapas. Helping other people is not Yajnana Tapas. No, you watch your head straight. Do not give up Yajnana Tapas means make every karma a Yajna, a Dana, a Tapas. Don't make yajna a karma, dana a karma, tapas a karma. Are you getting that point, please? Don't make worshipping an action. Make every action worship. Or else what will happen? You will be dividing. That is why people have divided between the secular and religious action. So the person considers himself holy, so what do you do? Throughout the day, I am only chanting, singing, dancing, jumping, hugging, thinking of God, you know, singing of the God. Then what about other things to be taken care? That is God only will take care. God will take care. Then what do you do? That is very manipulate people. Understand? I am doing this for you, therefore you do this for me. Ah. No. When you say, Puja should not be given up. What it means is, don't say since studying, working, cultivating, meeting people, being with people is not a puja in the ordinary sense of the term. So I am morning till morning, I am doing only puja, ritual of the God or the worshipping of the God or meditating. But I don't do all these things. No, 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 no. Convert every action to worship. Meditation should not be given up. Listen carefully. Meditation should not be given up. When you say meditation should not be given up, then what do you do? So you consider meditation as an action. Think how dangerous it is. Suppose so you consider meditation as an action. What is meditation? Sitting down somewhere, closing the eyes. Do what inside God only knows. Even not, uh, between, Swami between 11 to 3, it is lying meditation. Lying down meditation. Between three to four, it is a tea meditation. Between five to seven thirty, it is walking to the bazaar meditation. Early morning, up to eight o'clock, bed meditation. Right. What about gardening? That is physical activities. The sattvic people, only mind. Only mind. <laughs> Even, we are very sattvic people. What about food time? Oh, food time, ghee and thayir, butter, milk, with, uh, you know, that is swadvannam. Very, you know, all nice. Snigdham. You saw that the different types of food, those are the types of food. Oh, yeah, that's all. But who should produce it? Well, meditation. Others? Dangerous. If you say meditation is an action, you will not do anything else in life. That is where you become a lazy bone. Make every action a meditation. When you say meditation should not be given up, means what? Not that the, don't make meditation an action and other actions can be given up, only meditation to be done. Are you getting that point? When you say yajna dhana tapa should not be given up, don't say yajna dhana tapa should be done and that which is ordinary sense, not a yajna, not a dhana, not a tapas, not a charity, not a good disposition or the ritualistic thing, that should not be done. You are making a mistake. What it means is make every action a yajna, jnana yajna, drabhya yajna. You are reading that. Every action. Yadhyat karma karomi, tatra khilam, sambhotava aradhanam. Oh Lord, whatever action I do, that is your worship. How you understand, you know, today if you look at the world, you can see how it has gone into the system. Literally, you take it, yajna dhanatava. Some the fellows, 
becoming so fat eating all the food and all that nonsense and doing all that, only yajna karma. I am doing this. Other things in life, these are the grosthas karma. What a waste. A person must take the entire responsibility. Every action must be yajna, dana, tapas, charity. Why? I don't depend on it. What is charity? You give it away. What are you giving away? When you are happy only, you can give. When you are unhappy, you will grab. When you have a sense of a need, emptiness, will you give it? Huh? Everything will give it? Oh, let it be there. Hey, but this dress you are not used for ten years. So now that you are asking, maybe I will use it. <laughs> Just think of it. This is in your room, sitting down there for 20 years, 20 days, one month, you have never used it. But suppose somebody asks it, it's not he's asking for a gold or a diamond or a uh, precious uh, antique. He's asking you a dress which you are not using or something which is just lying down there. No. Why? Now that you have asked, I have a use. Mula, a long time now, Mula story have not come now. All right. Mula one day was sitting down there. The neighbor came for asking for the donkey. Donkey is not doing anything. You know, he will borrow his donkey. You know, like you borrow somebody's cow, oxen, car, tractor. Eh? You ask, can you give me your donkey? The Mula doesn't want to give. He says, my donkey is not here. My donkey has gone somewhere, you know, for something. And I said, the person believed going by, as he going, the donkey prays. The donkey started praying from the backyard. The fellow comes back and he says, you said your donkey is not there, but the donkey is praying. He said, whom shall you believe? <laughs> whom shall you believe? Me or the donkey? If you don't want to give, you can always create new logic. And I'm going to use it now. What do you do? Think. So dhanam, anything can be dana. Your time, you're giving time. Dhanam does not mean giving only five paisa. Can you give some time for somebody? Can you give a resource as a help for somebody? Any type of help. It can be physical, emotional. Intellectual, spiritual, any type of help you can give to people. Dhana. Why? What do you expect? Nothing. I do because I can do. But dhana means only, I don't have money, how can I? Hey, you don't have money. Do you have a good attitude in life? Yes, give it. Because usually people think help means only monetary help. Yes, sometimes monetary help is help, sometimes emotional help also help, sometimes physical help also help. Every type of help. So, yajnana tapas, please do not make yajnana tapas a particular action. Every action must be yajnana tapas. pavanani manishinam, and that is good for everybody. Do you really grasp it? Because our whole conditioning is so strong. Not many people can ever think eating food is a ritual. Not many people can ever think dressing up also is a worship of God. Taking a bath also is avishega. Can you have that attitude when you are pouring that water on your head on the bath time? Remember, it is you are giving it to bath to the Shiva, Shiva Linga, Ishwar. Deha Devalaya Prakta. In this body, God is existing. Therefore, body is being washed. Dressing up. If you do it this attitude, listen here, when you're doing this attitude, you go to God in that particular form, it will automatically be beautiful. Or else what will happen? You give you keep the temple of the God very clean, but your body dirty. Have you not seen people? They can keep the temple very clean, but themselves, ugh. Understand? Your dressing also is a ritual. Worship of God. Only preparing prasad for God is preparing prasad. Every day you are preparing food, no? 
the same attitude. That is why you are eating the food. Give it to God. Prasad it. Prasad does not mean laddu prasad from temple. Your tea, coffee also prasad. Why is it that only lunch time, Om Brahma, Arpanam, Brahma, Havihi, why not during the, what is that, tea, coffee time? Tea, coffee time, personally, you do it for yourself. Are you getting that point? Please? Anything that you take, that awareness doesn't exist. Yes, every time you cannot take a bottle of, you know, dive of water and go for the everything. Mental. Because lunch time you can do that, but you are not there. Simply habitual action can it also it can be. So every moment it becomes yajna, dana, tapas. When I think something, I must be aware. When I speak something, aware. When I do something, aware. Pavanani manishinam. For every person it is beautiful. So nice, you know. That's why flower only don't pluck a flower to give it to God. Can we appreciate that? Flower on the tree as a place on the God, in the God, you don't have to pluck it. Somebody creates a beautiful garden, you don't call him a great devotee. Somebody who plucks the flower and gives it to the God is a devotee, right? What type of logic is that? Are you getting that point? One, plucks, one who produces, a, makes a flower garden, you call him a farmer. But one who plucks the one flower and gives it to God, he is a devotee, right? What is he going to give if the person doesn't produce the flower? Understand? So don't pluck somebody's flower to give it to God. Your attitude, pluck your thought and give. Your attitude must be beautiful. Then whole living shall be nice. At the same time, the farmer who is, yes, producing a beautiful flower garden, should not take it, that I did it, not by yourself. So many things have helped you to do it. A scientist, anybody for that matter, whatever we do in our life, nothing can we do alone. Everything is done, taking help of the totality. Therefore, every action, a worship, every moment, life is beautiful. Etani tu karmani, Sangam tyaktva phalani cha kartabhyani. Therefore, these actions to be done with Sangam tyaktva phalani cha. Phalam tyaktva, Sangam tyaktva, it must be done. What does it mean? That means any action, when you do Sangam tyaktva, Phalam tyaktva, it becomes yajna, dana, tapas. Even if you do yajna, dana, tapas, your charity, your ritual, if you do it with karma sangha and phala sangha, useless. Though sabat, it becomes binding. That is why people get stuck on puja. If they don't do it one morning, restless for throughout the day. Because for them, puja is just sitting down in the puja room only and doing it. That every action is puja, the person doesn't know. So he cannot do it one day there, he will be restless for the whole day. Understand? That Sankranti, Punyagala, I did not give a charity, the fellow is miserable. Other day, so many beggars are coming or somebody asking for food. No, Sankranti only. Amavasya only. Hey, give it. Any time, with the right attitude. Oh. So pathetic that people have completely separated, dichotomized, you know, compartmentalized the so-called spiritual from the secular action. Every action must be yajna, dana, tapas. You have been looking at a mountain, seeing something, hearing something, meditation. Why? You are being with yourself. Iti he kartabhyan iti me partha nishchitam me uttamam matam nishchitam. This is my conviction. Kartabhyani. It has to be done with this. So do every action, karma tektva, sangam, eh, phalam tektva, sangam tektva. Sangam means I am the doer, give up. That idea that I am doing, it is done. Phalam tektva, the result will make me happy. No, I do it because it has to be done. Okay, your whole life is so beautiful. 
You know, you look at your own body. Your own body becomes so beautiful, right? This body, God, is all yours. I am using it for some time. Imagine if you remember that idea that I am using this body for some time. Will it be difficult to give up the body? It's already His. Already His. Take care, God. Take care. And you do manage it. If it is you, I am eating. Mm. You are managing a gift. Oh, thank God for it. Living becomes upasana. How beautiful. Understand. Please understand that again and again. It's very, very important. Every action. So that your living becomes beautiful. Okay. And then... Bhagavan says, mm. now he talks about three types of Tyaga. So having told this, you should not know every action must be done with right attitude. Now he says, by chance you give up certain action which is not right. And this Tyaga, giving up action can be three types. Read it, we shall see in the afternoon. Niyatasyatu sannyasa Karmano no papadyate Moha tasya parityaga Tamasa parikirtita Dukhamitye vayat karma Kaya klesha vayatya je Sakrutva raja samtyagam Naiva tyaga palam laved Karya mityeva yat karma Niyatam kriyat erjuna Sangam tyaktva palam chaiva Satyaga Satiko Matahe. Okay, we shall see in the afternoon. You'll see beautifully your own history. <laughs> you can see yourself there. What type of life you are leading. You read these three, you can see that for yourself. Whether you are a, uh, your attitude is tamasic, sattvic, or rajasic. It will be fantastic. And everybody will understand it because it's your painting. Just like the truth, absolutely. It's so fantastic. We'll see in the afternoon. Close your eyes.